Well, it finally happened. I just got back from my first cruise in 21 months since the beginning of the pandemic. I was so excited. It was a river cruise on the American Empress, which is one of four paddle wheel river boats owned by the American Queen Steamboat Company. They recently purchased another boat company called Victory Cruises, and they've changed their name to American Queen Voyages. Now, this is a similar name to another larger riverboat company in the U.S. called American Cruise Line. So it's very easy to get mixed up, which I did for the longest time. I am going to make a series of videos on this voyage so that you will know every single detail of the American Empress Riverboat Cruise on the Snake and Columbia Rivers. Hopefully this will help you determine whether this is the right cruise for you. Stay tuned. This is Sandy from Sandy Over 70. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoy this video and will consider clicking the subscribe button and the little bell so that you will be notified whenever I post a new video. Now let's begin the tour. American Queen shuttled us over to Clarkson, Washington from Spokane about a two and a half hour drive. Our cabin was located on deck three, category C, a veranda cabin. It was quite spacious, 180 square feet. It had a desk, a telephone, a queen size bed, which could also be configured into two twins, a nice window, a door with a window leading out to the veranda, and two straight chairs and a desk chair, no sofa or easy chair. That would be my only complaint about that but based on the size of the room, it was adequate. A nice full length mirror, a TV, a Keurig coffee maker, and now going out onto the deck, we'll find a table and two chairs. And this was a great place to watch the scenery go by when the weather was warm enough to be out there or when it wasn't raining. We found these little packets on our bed and they contained a mask, a alcoholic hand sanitizer and some wipes. The bathroom was rather small. The shower was one of the smallest I've had recently on a cruise ship of any type, but it was adequate. There's two closets and there's plenty of room in them for everything that we brought. The nice thing is that they light up when you open the doors. There's also a safe right here in the top drawer. This is the lobby. You can see it's a bit dated. They have some nice art in the cabinets such as Fabergé eggs. And this is the medical office. For the first time, they have a paramedic, Serena, who is responsible for COVID monitoring on the ship. A very good thing. Around the corner is the gift shop. Small, but adequate for a small ship. And then next, is the purser's office, which is always staffed with friendly personnel. Very helpful, whatever your needs are. And here's the hop on, hop off boarding pass machine, which I'll talk more about later. This is the Astoria dining room. The crystal chandeliers add a touch of elegance to the room and they always had a fresh rose on the table. I don't know how it stayed fresh. This is the showroom, and during the day, it would be used for 
lectures by the Rivalorian, who would talk about the river and all of its history and stories. You can see the stage is quite small and barely holds the orchestra that plays in the evening. The Paddle Wheel Lounge is located on deck two. This is the bar, quite attractive, and you can see the dance floor and the musicians area. This room is very large for such a small ship, much larger than the one on the American Queen, which is twice as big. Over here is a small sitting area, the only one on the ship. And there is a small library. This is the musician's area, which could take several musicians, but we only had one guitar player in the evening. There's extensive art on the walls on every floor. And in the cabin, is a booklet which allows you to do a self-tour of the art. This is the River Grill, their casual eating venue. And amazingly, there was always enough room in here to find a table. This chef prepares for dinner every night, prime rib and lobster tails, which was amazing. Melted butter, it was delicious. And I have to say, I ordered it either here or in the main dining room about four times during that week. Now, normally this would be a buffet, but because of COVID, the staff serves the food to you. You just point it out. And I have to say, the staff in this grill were so incredibly friendly. They're seating outside also in good weather. American Empress has two gangways that it can lower just about anywhere on the river if it needs to. The weather on this cruise was a little too cool for sitting outside in rockers, but they are available and provide a beautiful view. A nice thing on this ship is the wraparound deck on deck four. You can literally walk around the entire ship. The staterooms on this deck have a semi-private veranda. Although the paddle wheel on this ship does not actually propel it, it is fun to look at. This staircase is one of the nicer features on the Empress. I hope you enjoyed this little tour. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And let me know in the comments if you have ever cruised on the American Empress and what you thought of it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.